there's another march coming from Occidental Park up to Westlake Park where the alternative socialists are having their uh, gathering, their protest gathering. So, yes, there's a count the vote rally in Occidental Square down in Pioneer Square. And the wind is really picking up, so it's, it's gotten really super windy. And you probably can't even hear what I'm saying right now, but it's getting really windy, but uh, people are still down for a march. So let's see what's happened. As you can see behind me, all these businesses have their windows boarded up. That's all press board, you know, they're just worried, I guess, that something might happen. But so far, I haven't seen any violence today, but the wind is sure picking up, so I need to get back to the park. I was going to meet the other march, but they've already left from Occidental Park. This is Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle, uh, day two after the election. So folks have been gathering at Occidental Park, and now, actually this is Westlake, Westlake Park now. And uh, there should be another march meeting here soon, but there's a rally going on right now behind me. And uh, they have the park all lit up lights, so it's a good place to have a gathering. And we 
know that it's a completely false vector to call mail-in ballots suspicious, meaningless paper ballots prone to fraud. And we have to take a potential uh, attempt by Trump and the right wing to sabotage the vote very se seriously and go all out to defend the democratic process of working people in this country. and our future fighting to defend the vote. I am excited to introduce Logan Swan, a member of Socialist Alternative and a member of the Iron Workers Union. Well, you and I work out a local 86 here in Seattle and a member of Socialist Alternative. Sisters, brothers, and siblings, we have a historic moment in front of us. The Trump administration has spent the last four years mounting an escalation of attacks on the working class and our conditions. He broke all of his promises to the industrial workers of America, where factories are desolate and union jobs have been lost, instead showering the bosses and the billionaires with subsidies and tax cuts. From his nomination of Gorsuch to the Supreme Court, passing right to work nationally with the Janus decision, to his anti-worker labor board, overturning previous decisions and determining new cases every time in favor of the bosses, to the abandonment of workers by OSHA and Trump's labor secretary during the pandemic, where there is currently no emergency standard for COVID exposure. Welcome to the MTC Report. The news behind the news with journalist Mark Taylor Canfield. We offer you independent voices and underreported stories about topics you won't hear anywhere else. Join us as we delve into the deeper issues behind the news stories of the day on the MTC Report. Looks like we found the march, folks. They're headed back down to Parker Square. It's a big crowd. There's one thing I wanted to say when we're talking about our local elections, which is really important. We need to think about who we're putting in our superintendent position. We need to talk about who we're putting in our superintendent position as regards to who is going to be in power of getting our kids the proper resources that they can use to have a successful life. And that means every child needs to have access to the same resources, to the same education. Can I get an amen? amen? Because so many people can say that they're doing this for our future generations, which is true. And that means we need to set the foundation to reimagine what our education system looks like in America. So that everybody has a chance to succeed because it starts with an education first. And that needs to change. We need to make sure that we are taking care of every single child, and that's including our houseless children that have to still go to school even though they do not have houses, okay?
current NAACP in King County also wanted the King County superintendent for the school board removed. They wanted the superintendent we currently have to resign just as much as Seattle wants Jenny Bessie to resign. For NAACP to be talking about it, it must be racial lady. Look into that.
So there's a total of three marches tonight, and I made it to two of them so far. One of them is up on Capitol Hill. So there's another one leaving from on Capitol Hill, uh, and then there was one at Westlake Park. It was the alternative socialist. And now this is the Count Every Vote march. Uh, Nikita Oliver, a local poet and educator, and also former uh, candidate for mayor, spoke earlier. So it's been a big march. There's a lot of people here. Welcome to the MTC Report, the news behind the news with journalist Mark Taylor Canfield. We offer you independent voices and underreported stories about topics you won't hear anywhere else. Join us as we delve into the deeper issues behind the news stories of the day on the MTC Report. Anywhere the MTC report with Mark Taylor Canfield continues next. This is Mark Taylor Canfield, and we are up on Capitol Hill. And apparently, the march that left Seattle Central disbanded early. Um, there was also a march the alter alternative, the socialist alternative folks, uh, where I was filming earlier, left. Westlake Park, um, sometime around 7-ish, and I'm not sure where they went to march. But what I'm noticing is, so we're um, bopping around in a car, and I see all of these businesses in Seattle, downtown, and South Lake Union, up here on Capitol Hill, that are boarded up. I mean, some places just have board, you know, press board over the, the windows, plywood over the windows. And I don't know why, because there really has not been a large amount of unrest in the city. So it seems like a little bit of an overreaction to me. Um, but apparently, people thought that uh, if, tr maybe the, it was this scenario, that they thought if Trump won, then there would be a backlash. Um, right now, it's looking good for Joe Biden, but of course we're not certain because there hasn't been uh, a definitive declaration yet of who who's going to be the next president of these disunited states. But whoever it is, uh, they're going to be facing, yeah, a very divided nation, and maybe the most divided nation since, you know, Abraham Lincoln's election. Uh, so who knows where that will go. But this is Mark Taylor Canfield. I'm reporting from Seattle. I know you can barely see me because there's no light in this car, but I just wanted to fill you in on what happened. Uh, there were three marches today in Seattle. This is day two. Uh, election 2020 and we still don't know who's going to be the next president of the disunited states of America. This is Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle for the MTC report. As part of this why don't you just, to the, to the why don't you just take a right. Please keep moving. Take a right and get away from the cops. Actually, we've got to go straight, though. You want to go straight? Yeah. We're headed down the hill. We're headed down the hill. Oh. Well, those are the cops I could film. Oh my gosh, that's going to scare you. Yeah, they got M4. Well, it looked like that for, I mean, like, maybe M4. Whoa, now I kind of want to film the cops, but now that's, there's so many cars behind them, we'll never get close. We'll never get close to them with this traffic, unless we go up ahead. Well, you could take a right and then try to get in front. I'm feeling like... Yeah, that one has a lot of police. Yeah. This is the, the group that they're targeting tonight. Yeah. That's why we That's didn't why see anybody downtown. downtown. There were no cops anywhere near downtown. So we're in the car and we're driving really close to a bunch of police. It looks like they have somebody pulled over. There was a march that just went by. They're filming. Should we pull over and go make sure they're good? And the so 
so the there's a large contingent of police that are f following this crowd and they're threatening them with arrest uh, we are in a, a line of cars now which is which means we're kind of stuck um, but we're not far from the area where there were some protests of maybe a month or so ago, a couple months ago, uh, against the Washington State Patrol, which has a headquarters up here. So I don't know if, if that's part of where, where this march is headed. I don't know. But uh, we just got off of 10th Avenue north of uh, Capitol Hill, and there's a large contingency of police with a some kind of a armored le looking vehicle or something. What was that? That was like an LRAD or something. Following them. So the police are basically making a speech on their book, on their PA system to the, to the community about why these people are bad. It's basically what they were saying. Those are a lot of police. So the protesters. Go yeah, go straight. This guy's gonna go straight. So I'm gonna go straight after him. So it turned out to be quite an eventful night. There were three different marches. There was a count all the votes rally down at Occidental Park that was sponsored by the 43rd District Legislative District Democrats and the Democratic Socialists of America and all sorts of other groups. Uh, that march uh, headed north and uh, then south on 5th Avenue past the police headquarters and they had a rally at Occidental Park for a while where Nikita Oliver, former uh, candidate for mayor, spoke. Um, there was also the Socialist Alternatives and there was the Socialist Alternative event at Westlake Park and that featured a bunch of speakers and then a march left from there. There was another march that left uh, at 7.30 from Seattle Central College and that ended up um, being chased by police um, all over Capitol Hill until they disbanded just, uh, just a little while ago, about a half hour ago. It was getting kind of hairy because we were in the car and we sort of got trapped behind all of these uh, bicycle cops and then a, uh, a big police vehicle just like what they call an LRAD or something. Um, so that was making us kind of nervous because there have been incidents lately where the police have actually broken windows out of cars and pulled them out and arrested them. So we were afraid that was going to happen to us, but we made it through okay. And apparently that big group of protesters, there was a, it was a large group um, that were marching down 10th Avenue towards Capitol Hill. Um, they apparently disbanded and uh, left the area so it's been a long busy day and I have a lot of video editing to do so thanks for tuning in to uh, the MTC report and I hope that you like the video and share them and then subscribe and support independent media because we sorely need it in this country right now. This is Mark Taylor Canfield reporting from Seattle for the MTC report.